Hey guys, today I am going to be multi-apping with all four apps. Now that I have Spark in the arsenal, I've actually been loving Spark. Things have been going smooth, so hopefully it will continue to go that way. So I am going to go ahead and get these apps turned on. So let me go ahead and start with Grubhub and turn that on to taking offers. Now I'm gonna go over to Uber Eats. I am gonna go ahead and tap the go button for Uber Eats. And there we are. And DoorDash, gonna go ahead and hit Dash now. I'm just gonna say till 2.30. And then of course I got the prompts that I have to answer. I wish that these things would go away, but uh, they're there. Um, Uber Eats is coming in. Ooh. Uh, $6.72, 7.6 miles, no go. I am gonna hit the X on that. Too high of miles, maybe um, for two miles I would have taken that. Uh, let me get back over to DoorDash. Charge phone, enough gas, red card, and hot bag. Start dashing now. And that is on, and now over to Spark. So in the top right-hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead. Now we got... <laughs> <laughs> we got DoorDash coming in. Let me go check out DoorDash. It looks like it's Papa John's. What do they got for me? Uh-huh. $7.25 for 5.8 miles. No go. And then, I, of course, I'm going to decline that. And then I have an Uber Eats coming in. They're rolling in, which I like. Um, I'm just going to put too small. Okay. Let me get back over to Uber Eats. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> $3.80 for 3.9 miles. Absolutely not. That is an excellent. They're, they're really coming in. I can't even get over to Spark. Um, we have, oh, let's see here. $9.75, 6.6 miles. I have to go that way and then bring it all the way back over there. I don't want to go back into a different area and then drive it all into another area. I want a little bit lower miles. It's not too bad, but I just turn it on and the offers are coming in. So I'm just going to put distance too far and let's get over to Spark. So I'm going to go ahead. So when I did my Spark video, I thought that the time, and there comes another offer, I thought that the time was for when I wanted to start uh, sparking. Anyways, come to find out, and thank you guys for everybody that gave me tips and stuff on Spark. Um, this is the end time of how long I want to spark till. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put 2.30, kind of like what I did with um, DoorDash. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on, and then I'm gonna go back to DoorDash. Oh gosh, this ain't good either. $3.75 for 3.6 miles. That is a decline. I'm gonna put too small. And Uber Eats is coming in. $6.69, 5.1 miles. No, 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 no. I am holding it. It is raining too. It was like nice for a moment. Started sprinkling and I'm sure you guys can probably hear, hear the rain. It is uh, coming in. So hopefully it'll calm down in a moment. Um, I didn't bring my jacket, which I should have, but it's Oregon and the weather is all over the place. So we're going to roll with it. Um, yeah, so everything's on and I am going to hold out and see, um, what we get for our first offer and it has to be something reasonable. And here comes Uber Eats. $25, 19 miles. I am not doing 19 miles and I have to go out to Portland. Where is it? Actually, no, I have to go to Bull Mountain. I ain't going out there. <laughs> that I do not want to do too high of miles. I want to stick around here. So I'm going to hit the X on that. And then we have DoorDash. What do we got? 11.50 for 11 miles. Too high of miles. I don't want to do that high of miles. I'm going to decline distance too far. All right, guys, I'm holding out for a reasonable offer. I'm looking for lower miles, a reasonable pay. I will get back at you when I get what I'm looking for. All right, guys. 
All right, I finally got a reasonable offer and it stopped raining, thank goodness. So I did, of course, have to decline a few offers. I had to decline three offers and got this order for the Yaira House from Grubhub, which is 2.1 miles for $6.39. I am here and I just got notification that it is ready for pickup, which I like, so hopefully it is ready for pickup. Question for you guys before we go in, how many apps do you guys multiply? I app with currently and I did have somebody ask me once actually a few people have asked me in the comments um, if I use one or two phones when multi apping and I just use a one phone I bounce between the apps when I get offers uh, once I get an offer a reasonable offer then I will pause my other apps until I get this order now of course um, if an order is really close by within you know five minutes or less then I will keep or turn on my apps once I've got the order that way and catch an order on the way but I only use a one phone for multi-apping all right guys let's go in and uh, hopefully this order is ready there we go you're all thank great you. patient <laughs> thank you guys bye so the order was not ready, unfortunately. Somebody accidentally hit the ready for pickup button. It does happen occasionally and thankfully they were still able to get the order out to me within a reasonable time and it is a Grubhub so I went down to the bottom you'll see the customer's name with the items that they ordered and you'll see um, it's on the page where it says got order you'll see it says there's a problem so I went ahead and clicked on that and said that they're still preparing the item and I put 10 to 20 minutes just to cover myself and that I would wait for the order so I have it let's go get this order dropped off let me see See how far away that they are I don't think that they're very far it is an apartment no surprise there and they are looks Starting like they are about six minutes a 1.8 miles let me turn her down um so we're gonna head there now I'm gonna go ahead and turn back on my other app so we can try to catch another one on the way there all right guys all right, order is dropped off. Now this apartment complex was super easy to find. The GPS actually took me to the right building and the units are all on one level. So super easy to find. So this offer went smooth. And like I said, I was gonna turn on my other apps on the way here. And I have been getting a lot of really bad automatic decline offers back to back. And Uber Eats has been winning the day except there's no winning offers in there. They've all been really bad. Um, and a lot of Walmart offers too, which those aren't the kind of Walmart offers I'm looking for. I've been waiting to get one from Spark today and they I haven't even gotten one. Yesterday I did two Spark orders and they were really, really good Spark orders. I had my first shop and deliver Spark order, which I've, I've gotten one before, but I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want to do the shop and delivers. And there was an incentive to, to do my first shop and deliver order. For whatever reason, I didn't end up doing it. But anyways, yesterday I did my first shop and deliver order because it was slower out and it was paying $20. It was under two miles um, to deliver to the customer. So I'm like, everything just aligned perfectly. So I went in there and shopped and it actually went super easy, super smooth. And there was pictures of the items, the aisle where the items were located. And the other thing that I was concerned about is how am I gonna pay for this this stuff? Well, anyways, I guess there's a Q, you have to go to the self-checkout. There's a QR code on the self-checkout that you just scan with your phone. An associate comes over, scans a few items in my basket and told me just to bag them up and off I went. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. I don't have to deal with the card. I'm actually waiting for a card from DoorDash because that last incident when I did that shop order um, for DoorDash, my car just kept getting declined that this this I guess the strip is just wearing out so I should be having a new card coming in the mail um, any day now so hopefully I won't run into that problem again but anyways the shop and pay order went really good there was a $15 incentive on top of the 
years and it didn't take me very long to get it done the items weren't crazy they wanted multiple of um, some of the items so went really smooth and then my second order so yesterday was like a really good day with spark my second order that I got from spark yesterday was just one item it was an item that was left over from an order that was already picked up by somebody else and I got paid $20 on that which was super cool but <laughs> Now we got orders ringing in, and this is Uber Eats again. They're not good, guys. They're not good. $4.30 for 8.5 miles. What is going on? I mean, that's really, really bad. Really bad. That's a no-go. And did I get in something else? DoorDash isn't giving me anything reasonable either. 5.9 miles, $3.50. That is a decline. And I'm just going to put uh, too small, submit. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to get these wheels moving. I'm kind of over where the restaurants are. I'm going to head kind of more in that direction. And hopefully we'll get something on the way there. Spark, I wish you would bring me something. Um, yeah, it's kind of a slower day and so was yesterday, but I was still able to, you know, meet my goal yesterday. Sometimes you just got to kind of take what you can get and by the end of the night, you're surprised that you, you made some money. So what do we got here? Ah, uh, $9.96 for two orders, 7.4 miles. I am not doing that either. All right, I'm holding out for something good as I usually do. All apps are on and I am gonna get these wheels to move in. All right, guys. All right, guys, I finally got something reasonable. Uber Eats, $9.69 for 5.8 miles. I am about two miles away from the restaurant, so hopefully the food will be ready by the time I get there. We are heading there now. Hi, uh, pick up for Brian M. Perfect, thank you. Order was ready. Customer is 10 minutes, 3.5 miles. I have messaged them that I am on my way and we're gonna go get this order dropped off. When I get about five-ish minutes from their drop off, I will turn back on the other apps. I am leaving Spark on. Um, I am trying to get me a Spark order, so uh, that one is staying on. Um, but when I get closer to about five minutes um, with the other apps, I will turn them on. All right, guys. All right, order is dropped off. It was a house, so it was very easy to find. Um, on the way here, it has just been one of those days quiet. I did end up getting a DoorDash offer for 1.9 miles. Now, the miles are awesome, but the pay was really low, $3.25. And then when I was going to drop off the order at the customer's door, my phone started going off and I'm like, oh no, because sometimes when that happens, the phone will freeze up. Does that ever happen to you guys? And you're sitting at the door like trying to get the app unfroze so you can get the picture and get to moving. Luckily, the app did not freeze. It was like $6-ish and 5-ish miles, so it was a no-go. Um, but yeah, the app didn't freeze, thankfully, and um, it happens sometimes. But yeah, it's just been really, really slow. I, I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't even gotten a, a spark and I've been looking for a spark. So we are going to go ahead and get these wheels to move in and hopefully we'll get something on the way back to where all the restaurants are. All right, guys. All right. So I have had to decline a couple of offers from DoorDash, just not reasonable. Holding out, of course, I did finally get an offer from Uber Eats. It is 2.2 miles for $6.50. I am on my way there. They are pretty good for it being sushi, so it should be close to being ready or ready by the time we get there. All right, guys. Okay, thank you. Awesome, thank you, YouTube. Bye bye. 
All right, order was ready. It just hadn't been bagged up yet. It looked like they were short staffed in there. So um, the girl that was working was trying to help everybody out and told me it'd be a moment until she uh, was able to bag it up, which is totally fine. She's doing the best she can. So I went and had a seat. She got it bagged up. We are on our way. It is an apartment, of course. No surprise as usual. The customer did leave some notes. They said, please knock loud on door and leave the food at the doorstep. I did notify her that I am on my way and she is three minutes a 1.3 miles not bad i'm going to turn on my other app see what else we can get all right guys All right, sushi orders dropped off. GPS took me right to the building, which I love it when it does that. Most of the time it does, there is occasionally where the pinpoint will be on the leasing office, and then you gotta go look at the map and figure it out. But so far, um, the GPS has been pretty good when finding the apartment building. So. On the way here, of course, I had to decline some more offers, but I did end up getting a DoorDash order 2.7 miles for $6.75 for KFC, and they are right around the corner. Um, the pickup time, I think, was like... It might be now. <laughs> uh, yeah, pickup time is 2.01, so we are heading there now, and the order should be ready. So I'm pulling in and they are still doing construction at this location. Um, so I am going to hit the drive through and hopefully um, the order is ready and they won't make me pull to the front because there ain't much parking. Hey, did you think KFC? What can we get for you? Hi, I have a, a DoorDash pickup for Jessica S. Okay, I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. All right, order was ready. They were able to hand it to me through the window. Sometimes at this location, they'll make you pull to the front and then you gotta wait a little bit. But luckily the order was ready. Uh, there was a car in front of me that was waiting for their order. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make it up to the window to be able to grab my order um, because they didn't pull far enough forward, but um, I had enough room and then I had to kind of back up to be able to pull around them. So uh, customer is seven minutes, 2.5 miles. We are on our way. KFC is dropped off. The apartment was easy to find. The GPS took me right to the building. Love it when that happens. Um, so the amount actually ended up being a little bit higher. I was told it was going to be $6.75. It ended up being $7.25. Base pay was $2.75. Customer tipped $4.50, making the grand total $7.25. So not bad. Um, it has been one of those days. Just kind of take what you can get. When I was on my way here, I got a spark offer coming in and I'm like oh my gosh so I kind of pulled off because I was on the side street and I had a spot I could pull off and I was trying to see what the offer was but this the wheel kept spinning and spinning and spinning like it wouldn't lock in finally when it locked in there was nothing there so I'm assuming somebody must have grabbed the offer is, is what I'm thinking had happened. I actually had that happen yesterday. I had a few uh, offers pop up in front of my face. And by the time that I could even look at them, they were gone. So I'm assuming that's what happened with that offer. So I am disappointed I wasn't able to do a spark um, today with you guys. But I'm sure I'll get something later this evening, hopefully, because I really have been enjoying the spark orders all right so I am gonna call it an afternoon appreciate you guys riding along with me always and I will see you guys on the next one bye guys